Well, it's time for weather now, and we are just kind of stuck in this pattern where it just doesn't feel like June in the Bay Area. Nope. Yeah. We've been in it for a while. I want to know when we're going to get out of it. There's no sign. Oh. <laughs> it's really, it has been Yikes. unusual, and this yeah. pattern is, it's, it's definitely going to get more so not like June over the next few days because wow. it's going to get cool and breezy. And then looking at the long-range forecast, it looks like it wants to keep doing that as well. Meantime, if you look inland, this if you are inland today, for inland Contra Costa County, inland Tri-Valley, the numbers today actually are what you should be doing for June. If you're inland today, it was spot on, low 80s. But what happens over the next few days, in fact, by tomorrow, the number over here, and there's Concord out there off in the distance, that number is going down probably about 7 or 8 degrees from there. And it's going to get a little breezy, and it's going to be cool. And that's a theme most of us will experience tomorrow. If we look at the currents, you can see where the marine layer is right now. It's just kind of hanging out here for the city at 63 in San Francisco. Number right now in San Jose, 73. So there's your 10-degree spread. Uh, and if we see how we're going to do this, why is tomorrow different? Why does it have to get breezy and cool and what's going on? And all we have to do is look right here, kind of see it. There's an area of low pressure developing there. You really see it on the water vapor. There's definitely a trough developing right there. And if we take that and spotlight the cool air that's right in that trough and watch where it's going over the next 24 hours, it's slinking down our way. There is a little bit of rain with that, too, but the rain's not going to get here. In fact, if we watch that on the future cast, you'll see this as we go into late Sunday and Monday. There's a weak little system that's going to graze northern California. It's not bringing the rain here, but we're going to feel it when it passes because the breeze is going to turn on. It'll be a good onshore breeze tomorrow. And obviously, we're going to feel the cool down from it. If you look at where it's going to rain, where it actually adds up, we're looking at about a half an inch of rain way up on the northern edge of the state. And really, we don't even see anything farther south than Eureka get in on the act. But what we do notice, here are the daytime highs for tomorrow. Instead of low 80s, which we were seeing today over here, it's low 70s. San Jose, you were 71 tomorrow, and the daytime high there already got close to 80 a little earlier. You did that in the 3 o'clock hour. You're only going to 71 tomorrow. It's going to be cooler there. And if we look at the way the breeze is going to play on top of that, watch the screen light up as we get into Sunday afternoon right there. Now that has a 25-mile-an-hour wind speed for most locations. If you look at the coast, there's a 45-mile-an-hour gust at Bodega Bay. It's going to be blustery if you're doing something for Father's Day on the coast tomorrow. So be aware of that. But if you're not, let's say you're just doing a backyard barbecue in the East Bay, Fremont, 23 mile an hour gust. Uh, we'll have a 29 mile an hour gust in San Mateo. Now, those are the gusts. So there's no wind advisory because the gust is just telling you what it's going to momentarily peak at. You'll have 20 to 25 mile an hour winds through most of the day tomorrow. So it's a noticeably breezy day, but it's not cancel your outdoor plans kind of wind day. All right, let's get into that seven day forecast. There's San Francisco and Oakland up first. We're not really going to change this a whole lot. It's just Sunday and Monday where it's a bit breezy. After that, the wind is not sticking around, but the temperatures will stay relatively cool. You can see that play out here. We're going to kind of keep them right around where, they, where they're going to land tomorrow. That's what the next seven days will likely feel like. And there is reason to believe beyond the seven day we got another shot of cool air coming. So, Andrea, not what you wanted to hear, I know. Uh, back over to you.